Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with another After Effects tutorial to get your teeth into. Now this one's going to be something of an epic, probably spanning um, three or possibly even four stages, depending on how much I can cram into each one. The end result, however, should be worth it, because it looks a little bit like this. Now it has some similarities with the text to sand tutorials that you'll already find out there, but the thing that makes this one stand out particularly is that it doesn't use any plugins at all. Pretty much all the text to sand tutorials that I've seen rely heavily upon trap code form, or possibly even particular, to get the effect you're after. The challenge I set myself here was to achieve all of this without stepping outside of the standard tool set you'll find in CS3, CS4, or CS5. So you've seen what we're aiming for, you know how long it's going to take. Let's get started with stage one. As always, the first step is to create a new composition, and we'll call this one engraved text. We're going to leave it at 1024 by 576, 25 frames a second, and 10 seconds long. Just hit OK on that. Now I have this uh, stone texture that I'm going to use. Just rename that for simplicity. Now it's actually a shot of some polished concrete, um, which I'm sure they didn't have in ancient times, but it looks stone-like enough um, for our purposes. Just as a matter of interest, this is um, one that's freely available for download from my Flickr page, so if you go to shortformvideo.com, you'll find all the links you need there. So I'm just going to grab this and drop it into our engraved text composition, and you'll see it looks a little bit like this. Now you could probably scale it down a bit, but uh, it'll be fine as it is. Now the next step is to obviously create some text. So select the text tool and we'll type in engraved text. Now we're looking for some nice Roman text so you could use Times New Roman but I'm actually going to use Trajan, Trajan Pro and Bold. I'll just uh, reduce the text a little bit down to 90. Now I'm also going to add a, a little stroke to the outside because I want to uh, make it look even bigger. So. Uh, just increase the outline by three pixels. Okay, that's good. How do we make it look as though it's been engraved into the stone? Well, that's pretty simple. Right click, select layer styles, and bevel and emboss. Now we'll just give ourselves a little bit of room to play with here. Twill down the bevel and emboss uh, settings. Now we're gonna leave it at inner bevel. Select chisel hard and direction down and already you can see we're, we're making progress. The size we're going to set to about 15. Leave the angle at 120. Drop the altitude of the light to uh, 13 just to bring those shadows into sharp relief. Now in the highlight mode you want to select linear dodge and in the shadow mode we're going to select uh, Overlay. And just to finish the effect off, I'm going to right click on the text again, select Blending Mode, and we will choose Darken. And immediately you can see we've got this really convincing engraved text. Now it's looking pretty good, so we could leave it at that, but there's a couple of things that I like to do to make it look even better. Um, the first of which is to add a little key light around the edge of the text. So uh, right click on the text again, select layer styles and outer glow. Twill down the outer glow options, select opacity of 50%, a blend mode of pin light, and set the color to white. And finally, just take the size right down to one. All that does is add a subtle key line around areas of the chiseled text. You often see this when you look at engraved text. The, the edges of the engravings tend to pick up that sharp point of reflection as they bend the light. Um, and that just gives us that effect and brings it, brings it out. Now another problem with engraved text is that sometimes you'll see it as, a, as an engrave in, but other times your brain will play tricks on you and make it look as if it's engraved out. So we're just going to give um, the viewer a visual cue of where the light's coming from. Now we could do this by turning things into 3D layers and create actual, actual 3D lights in there, but we're just going to fake it on this occasion. So create a new solid, we'll call it fake light, leave it at the uh, 
composition size and set it to black. And now I'm going to scroll out to give myself a bit of room. Select the pen tool. Make sure your fake light layer is selected. And we're just going to draw a quick mask. Like that. Twill down to the mask properties. Set it to subtract. Just to reverse it. I might just... Uh, play around with the points while I'm here. Okay, that looks good. Now increase the feather quite significantly. We're probably looking around 125 pixels. And then you can play around with the mask expansion just to get the effect you're after. So I'm going to reduce the expansion by about 30 pixels. Okay, so that gives us um, a rather severe looking uh, light ray coming down from above, and that immediately tells the viewer that that's where the light source is. So straight away the brain knows that the light's coming from above, therefore this text has been engraved into the rock, and it saves that kind of optical illusion that we were talking about earlier. Um, before I finish this off, I'm just going to change the blending mode, right click, blending mode, overlay. And what that does, it just works it into the, uh, into the stone a bit, lets some of the background detail come through. Okay, so that's how to create perfect engraved text, and that's stage one of this tutorial complete. While the tutorial is going to be fairly long, uh, you'll find that there's a bunch of really, really useful techniques like this and others in each one. So watch them all watch one of them. Either way, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and uh, I'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching.